So, it's been a while, hasn't it? I know a lot of you probably saw our podcast episode this past weekend involving J. Michael, but today we're sitting outside once again for our first unboxing of the year. And by Joe, this box is heavy. Uh, a little bit of context uh, this is our Goodman's Game. Uh, Goodman Games Dungeon Crawl Classic that they did for 5e, Dungeon and Dragons 5e, uh, based on the original Dark Tower campaign that was released many, many years ago. And I paid well over $120 for what's in this box. Uh, the campaign ended. Uh, mid 2022 so it's been well over a year and a half before getting this I'm still waiting on our Dragon's Eye Dice uh, campaign pledge uh, which they've been promising since mid last year so it's that I've been waiting well over two and a half years while this is going on too so uh let's get on down to the meat of the matter and open up this sucker to see uh the physical contents and kind of relax react to the contents inside Is that over there hopefully a train doesn't come by in regards to while well, i'm recording some of you all know who have seen my unboxings might remember or might know that trains do have a tendency to come by just as usual a lot of I don't say a lot of packing paper Standard invoice slip uh, saying that uh, Monsters and Magic Dark Tower uh, Stretch Goal Pack Dark Tower Print and Quick Start Rules. Uh, the, th the Quick Start Rules that I mentioned here is that uh, uh, Goodman Games uh, has uh, two different, they t tend to do two different printings for some of their works from what I gathered. One printing is for their Dungeon Crawl Classics RPG line, and the other one is geared for those like myself who play 5e. So uh, I figured pick up their uh, quick start rules for their uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics line, so that way if I switch over, I have that, that line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this bucket here so I can just put this down here and well here is their pre-gen stretch goals pack apparently the stretch goals pack cost fifteen dollars fifteen dollars little man put that stuff in my hand part of me wants to open it up I'll, I'll get into this let's just unbox everything right now uh, to get everything out here is their quick start guide. It's like 32 pages long and something to go over. It's like a mini magazine. Uh, I, since I'm not really sure about uh, like old school Dungeons and Dragons, just from what I know on from like Stranger Things and uh, other mass media, uh, but. From what I gather, a lot of the old school campaigns were in magazine format, so this is kind of the old school aspect. Wonderful art on the co cover. Now, next up is the Monster's Guide. Pretty much, uh, I had to pick up this extra in regards to 
them or at least pay for the print copy of the Monsters and Magic of Dark Tower. They came with a PDF and they're like, well, uh, we would like to do a, uh, a physical copy for those who want quick access so that way you don't have to, you have the option of having a PDF from the go and physical copies for quick reference. And I chose, you know what, let's do the uh, physical copy, see what it is, that way I have quick access and have that tactile sensations with it in regards to that. And now, wonderful cover, there's the cover for that. And again, it's based on 5th edition. Well, again, their Dungeon Crawl Classics is a different uh, set of rules and now here is the heavy now this is what i want to see and it is by folks thick i want to say it's about as thick as our uh uh one of our other books in total but this is three books and let's open this up and it's supposed to have bookmarks i didn't see any bookmarks part of it um uh, i think bookmarks were supposed to be a part of it as much as i want to leave it in the the packing the plastic packing i have to take it out of the plastic packing it's a three volume as you can see one of the uh part of the stretch goals was uh foil lettering for it meaning once this goes to the print i don't know if everybody beyond that will get it in like stores or those um places that will order order this will get it uh with the this kind of uh shiny aspect and i could see why it has a little bit of like indent like it's framed uh the 5e stuff has, is geared to look like the old school books and campaigns and yes they are look at that um now there are three campaigns in this book or say this set um one is the original uh campaign the second is the 5e adjustment and the third is kind of like an addition, additional content, or maybe like a sequel. Let's put this out here. And put that there. Here's the first book. Book one. Here it is. Uh, it doesn't have the same, like, fancy little cover as the slipcase but I'm not knocking that and it, apparently this three book set cost uh, $109.99 so $110 for this and the back reads an ancient evil has become rooted in the once peaceful village of Mitra's fist thus the sleepy mountain hamlet has become a focal part, point of mysterious villages um, this slipcase, um, that's background summary. This slipcase contains three volumes of 5e adventure. Explore the complete tower adventures and the neighboring village of Mitra's Fist, plus additional wilderness adventures and information and a new campaign arc to defeat the chosen sons of Set. Also included are scans of the original vintage publication and historical commentary. This homage to the classic adventure, adventure written by Janelle Jacquet and originally published in 1979. Um, now, for those of you in the D&D, not familiar with the D&D community, um, Janelle Jacquet uh, passed away earlier this, I think she passed away earlier this year. So, this is, for those of you in regards to it, it, it's a great homage to her legacy. I think, yeah, it includes a lot of the original stuff because there was some drama in regards to the article by Justin Ale Alexander um, 
in regards to him, the article and the what's printed in here called uh, Jack Wayne the Dungeon. Uh, please uh, search up in regards to that. Uh, there are a lot of uh, YouTube commentators in the D&D community that uh, pretty much are more informed over that drama than I am. And But to... Yeah, I'm smelling a book. Uh, very old school. It's got textbook textbooky smell. It's not... It's very wonderful. Very old school. A lot of maps and a lot of... Um, like the grid map system that I don't know if you can see right there. But try to get a good camera angle of it. And yes, yes, yes. They do have the bookmarks in them. Because that was... Part of, I know you can't see it, but uh, let's see right here. I don't want to wreck the book too much or damage everything. I will be, hopefully, I'll probably be start, hopefully, probably get into more of doing a full length campaign over the summer. I'm trying to find that bookmark. And Yep, there it is. It is right in here. It's a nice green bookmark, cloth bookmark in here. Um, and he was like, well, you didn't show us the bookmark. Let me pull it out a little bit here. Here's the tail of the bookmark. Uh, yes, they included it, so I'm not like, I was like, well, they didn't include the bookmark. I don't see the bookmarks. Uh, there is a bookmark, so each one does have one. That is book one. And obviously the 5E version is a uh, reprint of, of that. And it's expanded upon. And it is thick at 313 pages. I want to say it's shorter than a... 5 e book should have brought one out to see the comparison so um, let me go inside and grab one of my uh, 5 e books so well, I'm going to stop the video I'll sew everything together and we'll com do that comparison I'm back and well as per size comparison um, here is a official Wizards of the Coast book, the Monster Manual, and it is uh, actually it's a hair tall. I want to say it's a hair taller and a hair wider. And tell you the truth, I want to say it may be whereas the Monster Manual in and upon itself is. 350 pages 300 yeah 350 pages cover to cover this I think the reason why this is a little bit thicker is they're using better stock paper on this which can be a good thing and it has a whole mess of monsters in it as well that's why it it this book remind even though it's I want to say 50 pages 40 pages shorter it does have a lot in it in regards to uh, adventure uh, characters the who's what's appendixes and pre-generated characters for you to use. I take it like a lot of books like Crown of the Oath Baker, Breaker, which we were trying to remember prior, which is how big this overall is. Now, mind you, the first book in this, this set is roughly a uh, hundred and... No, the uh, first book is 70 pages. This is... 300 and uh, 
15. The final book, the red book, is still at 160. It's a separate adventure. has a wonderful textbook smell, I'll say that. And is it worth $110? Now, I paid over $126 for this. And um, I'll say this, it came with digital, I'm still waiting on the virtual tabletop stuff. Uh, I have to go on Kickstarter and see what's going on with that they're still Goodman Games is saying that they are still waiting on uh, stuff back in regards to uh, the digital stuff the platform neutral stuff that way you could use it probably use it on uh, uh, D&D Beyond when it finally finalizes uh, Roll20 and other virtual tabletops but is this worth a hundred and ten dollars now I got figured uh, I paid over a hundred dollars for uh, Crown of the Oath Breaker. So this is on par with that. You're getting thick cardstock, thick books, lots of lore, lots of history, a part of this. And in a way, you're getting three different, uh, two different ways to play this campaign. Uh, one is the original way. The other is the 5e campaign. And you're getting a supplement, which is, again, I should have looked it up for you guys to see what is it about. It's just like a part two. Uh, it's an original event, adventure based on the first book. And uh, basically, it it's, takes place after the Dark Tower, what the event's happening here. So it is a sequel. And a lot of the, well, I should put this back. And I'll get into opening up that uh, extra content for you guys. See what's there. And the chosen uh, player handouts, which you could uh, copy, paste. I'm not removing them from a book. Wonderful stuff. I think I have a lot of uh, pronouns. And there could be... Other adventures in here too. When you look at the table of contents, I know I'm padding things. Uh, introduction, pocket in the shroud, curse coils of set. I think there's other, there's multiple adventures in here that take place uh, past that main book and puzzles, the whole nine yards. So put that back here now these two I said I paid hundred and twenty six dollars a hundred dollars for the set I still hundred dollars for this so I saved nine dollars and the rest of the stuff was pretty much uh, actually I paid hundred and thirty dollars plus shipping for all this and that was an ex extra like fifteen dollars for this um, ten fifteen dollars for this that included shipping. And is this worth 10, uh, 11 bucks? Yes, I'll say that. Just to have a physical copy in hand. Um, so I'll put this here. Let's open up the pre-gen booklet. Now this is supposed to be like pre-gen characters and uh, that you could play in your campaign. I do not want to use my box cutter to open this up. But... Yes, outside noises do happen when you record outside. And we have... Ooh! 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 Uh, we do have... This is the pre-gen booklet. It's just, it just doesn't have the same feel as a magazine, but it has a lot of the stuff that... Um, Uh, it is literally a pre-gen booklet of different characters that you can use and character record sheet give you kind of the folks at home what you're getting in here it doesn't feel as 
the same quality as the the stuff like this this quality but you have to figure these are just uh, for your use like you have a, a a druid class and you I take it if you want to uh, play these characters elsewhere you have that that here uh, just if you want to be a yeah that's pretty much what it is if you want to be a wizard fighter at doesn't give a level level seven but uh, I take it if you wanted to create these characters or recreate these characters in D&D Beyond so you could level them up uh, better you could be better with that uh, and have a digital version of these and this alone this pre-gen book is ten dollars now you have to figure this whole thing was 14 so is something pre-gen yeah that way if you're new to D&D you could have um, uh, something on hand in regards to uh, the uh, me if you're new I'm sorry I'm start uh, stalling on that it's not meant to it's hard to get the words out the it's if you're new to D&D &D, having something pre -gen generated allows you to uh, get in jump right into the game without worrying about uh, creating your own character uh, here we have, it's like a, pretty much like a newspaper. Uh, started in like, it was originally done in May 2023, May last year, so it was about a year ago. And it's like a little magazine, little uh, newspaper thing, or I should say, it's like a zine. And Goodman's Games 2324. For convention list that they're going to be at uh, starting last year I think this is a older that they tossed in here to for everybody that they might give folks um, at a convention I mean if you want to uh, like PAX or Gen Con um, this is uh, what they would probably hand out at their booth and it includes uh, articles like uh, a conversation with Chris, Do Chris Doyle and uh, Janelle Jacquet uh, bait talking about this set. So, and not sure what, it might be uh, interesting. There's no real price on this, but again, it, it could be just a freebie. And here is a actual. This is a maybe a print. Uh, yeah, Janelle, this is I think the print that everybody was supposed to get. Uh, that Janelle, Jaqu the late Janelle Jaquay, did for everybody for this campaign. That's this right here, which is interesting, very cool. I'm not knocking it, and it's something. Uh, if you want to put in a frame and display on a wall, if you're a big D&D person, you have your own little uh, spot to play D&D. This is, would be interesting to put up on a wall. And you have this, I'll put this in here with those. A nice, is it double-sided map? Yes. I was wondering if they would, I didn't expect this. I'll say this. I did not expect this. Um, it's a printed map of, uh, I guess, both the original Dark Tower campaign and, or at least extra maps. It's a nice 16 by 20 uh, campaign or map for everybody to see and have in regards to it. it's very well done very matter of fact i will say this it's a 
better print quality than what I've gotten with Dungeons in a Box. Uh, now, let me say this. Dungeon, Dungeons in the Box has a very good artwork on their maps. Um, I'm not saying this isn't bad art at all, but uh, because it's done general aspect of a map, but uh, their artwork is very well done as well. But this is very well quality. Part of me does not want to mess this up. So it's very very well done this is something i will have to look into it's very heavy that will it fit yes it will fit in the 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 box set here so if i wanted to it might be a tight fit if i do it but uh no yeah it's going to be a very tight fit in here with uh, all three books like i said was this worth a hundred and i said this the extra set is fifteen dollars. I paid one twenty-six plus one thirty-six plus shipping and handling. Was it worth it? Yes. Uh, do I recommend getting something like this if you want to dabble in uh, doing your own campaigns on your own, being a, a game master, dungeon master? Call it what you want. Having a set like, I'll say this, having a set like this, having a set like, uh, as much as I ripped it to pieces in regards to uh, Crown of the Oathbreaker, uh, I'll say this, having campaigns like that and even having a book of one-shots like this uh, that we got last year, uh, Adventures Await, um, helps. Uh, if you're not really uh, have the confidence to uh, go into this thickness of a campaign uh, type of ordeal, uh, one shots like Adventures of Weight might be more your speed, or uh, Dungeon in the Boxes uh, Wondrous One Shot series might be the best thing for you. But uh, something like this might be interesting to have on hand. It's wonderful quality. I like the tactile aspect of it. Um, it's very well made. Uh, I was, it took a while to get here, but not as long, not as of a while as the uh, Dragon's Eye dice I'm still waiting on. Um, so we'll see about that. Can't wait for the virtual tabletop stuff. Hopefully it's a lot of tokens and uh, the whatnot. Now, put this back here. There is weight. The weight is very well done put it like that i uh, thank you all for uh tuning in with us and uh hopefully i'll remember to post up uh the podcasts i do with uh sasha and myself uh and oh, there's some already uploaded i just gotta fill out the information and make them live for all of you to enjoy and there's a couple more that i have ready to upload uh, so there's that. So if you like this content, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys at least on the audio side. Links to that are in the description down below. I'm the Reverend Godfather, aka the Martin Speck Madman, and I'm out.